So it's a big pleasure to actually introduce you to an Italian uh, scale-up that was actually started in uh, Silicon Valley and later on decided to focus and grew very fast in, in, in continental Europe, so sort of came back. Um, they are, uh, as we heard, a software uh, platform, a platform, a people management platform that actually combines with a blend of artificial intelligence and behavioral science, uh, what creates basically the best environment for, for people to be motivated in a, in a corporate environment. They already count AAA uh, clients, the likes of uh, Accenture, Unilever, uh, Toyota. They're growing really, really fast, especially in Europe. And we have uh, here today uh, uh, Antonio Lorenzon, who's the co-founder and CMO. So I'll uh, allow him to actually tell you the story. Thank you very much, Lorenzo. Thank you, everybody, for inviting us. Uh, so yes, uh, I would like to start with uh, a word uh, that is actually heard a lot this morning, and it's uh, the key answer I, I have from uh, all the business leaders I talk with, that is people. When we ask around the world, uh, what's the most important asset you have in your company, everybody's answering people. Small company, mid-sized company, big companies. When I was working in PNG, I'm happy there is another PNG there, ex-PNG. Uh, they will keep saying, people is the most important asset ever. And I, there was a CEO saying, in 10 years, I can rebuild the company. If you leave me the people, you take all the rest. I'm able to do it again. So we go around the world and we ask, uh, thank you. And we ask, uh, uh, how do you evaluate people? How do you know that your people are happy? And actually, if we look at some data uh, that is from, from Gallup, uh, the situation doesn't look very amazing. We have 70% of the people that have a strained relationship with the manager. 50% leave the job because of the relationship they have with the manager. Most important one is almost nine people out of 10, they are not completely happy about that. So let me go back to the PNG time. If I see a chart like that about my market share, my logistics, my financial plan, I want to have a daily update how things are going. When we ask people, Leaders, what do you do? Because you have this chart, they say, oh, we have the annual survey. At the end of the year, try to understand how, if our people are engaged, happy, and how we can improve their engagement and happiness. Or they have a quarterly, whatever. So it looks like uh, they don't understand that listen to the most important asset in the right way doesn't allow them to have the best performance out of that. So we came out with the idea of Beacon Force. Try to fix those issues in terms of performances. How? Simply applying technology that today is available to 40 years of cognitive science uh, that is already out there. Coming back to what Luca said during the panel this morning is why now? Well, today we have algorithm, artificial intelligence, uh, and machine learning that enable us to understand uh, from several interactions we have with the users uh, and to provide, uh, and to provide a real-time visibility on actionable insight for users and for managers on what they could do to improve engagement, motivation, and performance. So this is actually one of the feedback we had one of the clients that Lorenzo was saying, I'm gonna show you later. Thanks to BeaconForce, we were able to understand why people behave like that. So the, what stands behind the choice of people to choose one direction or the other. How do we do that? We have a platform that is available on a mobile phone, so you can access everywhere, anytime in the, in the, in the, in the world where you are. We have a web dashboard, you can uh, access to that from any device you want, and it provides you real-time insight, actionable from the moment you start, measurable, the most important one, and is uh, adaptive to every single user. So any single user using Beacon Force has a very insightful reward of the effort they are doing on sharing information with the, with the platform. These are some of the clients we have today. Um, some of them, and uh, uh, I'd like to share a couple of feedbacks uh, that will make us very proud, uh, is uh, they don't remember how to do the one-to-one -one and to engage with people before using Beacon Force. They said, uh, we have the feeling we're walking in a room without the lights on. Now you gave us the light to understand where we should put our feet. How we make money, the business model is software as a service. So we have an annual fee uh, with a base platform and then we add uh, add-on features based on the client's need. Some of them need a specific uh, quit risk analysis or extra support for managers or uh, support on a custom survey, etc. 
We have uh, also additional service in terms of coaching, etc. And I like uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what I heard this morning. We start with a global thinking in mind. We are born in San Francisco. We have clients in Europe, in South America. We look at the world, uh, and actually it's a lot of people asking us, do you see differences among, uh, among countries? And I say, yeah, there are differences, but there is only one key asset, people. Focus on your people. Thank you.